Στόμα μου λαλήσει σοφία και η μελέτη της καρδίας μου σύνεσή ενδόνε πουρανίου ναού όσοι We have another Muslim, let us see. Let us mute this microphone speaker here. Hello? Hello? Can you mute uh, YouTube, please? Yeah, I hear you. Go ahead. So, brother, I just seen, I was just watching this call with you and another Muslim brother. Okay. However, a lot of things that you describe, you describe in a way that suits your argument. All right. Can you describe it yourself in the way that suits your argument? No. What do you mean? I'm, then? Just, I'm, just, I'm just speaking frankly. I know, but I'm saying I, I, I can give you the opportunity. I can give you the opportunity. Okay, okay, because cause you, if, if you read some of the descriptions that you, you, you just described, if you read some of the descriptions, yeah, someone else could narrate it in a different way. No problem. I will give you the opportunity to give him the reaction for anything you want. Okay, let, let us go. So when I said to him, which one Allah created first, the earth or the, the, the mountains, the trees or the lambs, which means the stars? Give me the answer. Go ahead. Pardon? I couldn't hear you. Okay. When I say to the gentleman, you said you were listening. So yeah, I showed... I was listening. I was listening. Okay. So if I say to you now, I'm not yeah. going to give you any interpretation. I did not even give interpretation. So if I say to you, which one Allah created first? Listen carefully, please. Which one Allah created first? The lamps, which means the stars, or the trees and the mountains? The stars. The stars. Yeah. Okay. So, are you firm from this interpretation? Pardon? Are you sure? I suppose so, yeah. No, no, I don't want suppose. I want a sure answer. Yeah, I'm sure. You see, we are, we are talking about religion. We are not talking about, I guess, I think so, maybe, you know? Yeah. All right. So, we heard our gentleman here. He is saying the stars is created before the mountains and before the... Uh, trees all right so let us go and see if that is a true or not do you have your Quran with you yeah I do have my Quran yeah. okay I want you to open for me chapter 79 chapter 79 all right chapter 79 you can read if you want from verse number 27, 20, 28, 29, 30, 31. Go ahead. First, what verse? Sorry. Chapter 79, verse number 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. I'm just, if you want, you can read a, a thousand verse before it, it doesn't matter, uh, but because they are not connected, but it's up to you. So, the creation verses start from 27. So go ahead, read for us. Yeah. 79, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Which is harder to create, you or the sky? He built. He built it. Okay. Continue. Raising it high and forming, forming it flawlessly. Okay. After. He, he, he dimmed its nights and brought forth its daylight. All right. After, as for as for the earth, he spread it out as well. As for the earth, or after that, as for the earth. Oh, this is a lie translation. Hmm? This is a lie. I'm not saying you are lying. I'm saying lie. the translation is a lie. <laughs> what what translation you are reading? What translation you are reading? I'm reading it from the Quran. Okay, what translation you are reading? What do you mean? What's, what translation? Do you know Arabic? Do you know Arabic? I can't speak Arabic fluently, no. You can? No, no, no. no. Okay, so I'm asking you what translation you are reading. I'm reading from the Quran. I know, but this is a translation. As long as it's not Arabic, it's a translation. So what the name of translation? What do you, 
what, what do you mean what the name of the what the name of the translation there's Shakir there's Joseph Ali there is a, a you know a name who is a translator one second it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't show that in this one hmm. Let me go to a different website then. It's Quran.com. All right. All right. You can pick any website, any translation. I, I mean, I mean, okay, I, mean, I have a translation of me. It says, and after that, he spread the earth. And the Arabic, it's confirmed that. It says, Well, Ardu ba'da dalika da ha. Well, Ardu ba'da dalika da ha. Ba'da dalika. Ba'd mean after. Dalika after that. Yeah. <laughs> My translation, it says, it's a false translation. That's what I'm saying to you. I mean, I always like what, what, what uh, as as for the earth. What as for earth? It says and after that. Why? Why the Muslim translation in front of me says after that, and you it says as for the earth? There's a huge difference. Do you want me to continue what the translation says? Well, that's false translation. I want you to get something right. You can do this. You can copy. You can copy the sentence of that verse mm -hmm. in Arabic. And post it in Google Translation and see is it does it say by the Dalika which mean and after that? All right, I'll do it right now. Okay. One second. You did not give me yet the name of the translator you were reading from. Okay, in Google Translate, it's in Google in Google Translate it says, and and after that he spread the earth. Thank you very much. So now, okay, okay. So now me and agree, me and you agree that the the correct translation is after that, correct? So okay, let's continue. Okay. All right, but we are done. It says here in verse number twenty nine that Allah created the day and the night before he start working in the earth and then after that he brought the water and the postures and after that he created the mountains correct yep okay this is in agreement with what you said because you said to me the light the the, the lamps the stars created first correct yep okay this is a chapter 79 now let's go to a different chapter go on all right <clears throat> we will find this open chapter 79 uh -huh. actually we were reading something saying nice sorry let's go to 41 41. Uh, if you can open two browsers so you can compare, you know, like don't yeah, don't don't, don't close the yeah, yeah don't close the other one so we can compare. Right. You put them next to each other. Okay, so if we go to in chapter forty one, in this verse translation is from Mustafa Kattab, Doctor. No problem. Okay, I, let me let me open Mustafa Kattab. Mustafa right. Kattab. Mustafa. Does it matter for you any translation or some Muslims they lie? It doesn't, so. it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, then let us keep it in Hilali Khan because, because I'm using it all. Okay, here. So, uh, chapter 41, verse number 9, 10, uh, 11, 12. Read for us, please. 9, 10, yeah. Yeah, chapter, uh, chapter 41, verse number 9 and 10 and 12. Okay. 11, 12. Ask them, O Prophet. How can you disbelieve in the one who created the earth in two days? Right. How can you set up equal with him? That is the Lord of all worlds. Okay. He placed on earth firm mountains, standing high, showered his belief of blessings upon it. Okay. And ordained its means of sustenance. Sustenance. Mm -hmm. Totaling four days exactly for all who ask. 
Shall I continue? Yeah. Then, then he turned towards the heaven when it was smoke, saying to, saying to it, to the earth, submit willingly or unwillingly. They both responded, we submit willingly. So he, so he formed the heaven into seven heavens in two days, assigning to each its mandate, and we adorn the lowest heaven with hmm. lamps. Okay. And for protection. Look what happened. According to this chapter. Almighty, all knowing. Okay, so what is the last thing Allah created in chapter 41? The last thing. The last thing he said. What the the stars, the right? Stars. Yeah, okay. Right, yeah. But you said, you remember, I asked you, which one Allah created first? The stars or the mountains? You said to me, the stars. So when we did read 79, that in total agreement with what you said, correct? All right, correct. Yeah. But here is the opposite. The last thing Allah created is the stars. So here, in fact, the first thing Allah created, it was the earth. The second thing is the mountains. There is totally the opposite. So what's your plan? You're trying to say that the... What my plan? This is a, isn't it the Quran says, if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find in it contradiction? Yes, yeah, Allah is the book of the Muslims. But... I'm saying this is a book of what? This is the book of what? You're trying to say I'm not trying, I'm not trying. It's you who said. It's you who told me that the stars was created before the trees and the mountains. And then the Quran, you told me when we did read yeah. the other verse, that the one created at the end is the stars. So if Allah is one God. How he, yeah. in one verse, in, in chapter, saying that the last thing is created is the stars, and the first one, it was the earth, and then the mountains, and then the trees, and then the other one is the, totally the opposite. Did he make a mistake in the order? Did Allah created the earth twice, three times, five times? He forgot? Okay, okay. In, 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 chapter, in chapter 41, yeah? Yeah. Where, where does it specifically say that just because just because he um, in in that, in that verse it mentions the stars lost, but where does it where does it specifically say? Okay, uh, if you read with me, okay. if you read with me, okay. does okay, it listen. say? Does it say? Then he rose up in verse number eleven. Then he rose up. He is Tawa toward to heaven. Does it say I mean, then? What, what? Um, verse number 11 does it say what then are you, are you, are you, are you reading from? chapter 41 verse number 11 does it say then he said then he turned towards exactly the so what is what is uh, what after now everything is after then after that he went to the sky and he started doing this so anything after then is something after he went to the sky that's why he went to the sky the sky was totally smoke. There's nothing. In fact, if you go to Ibn Kathir, he will say to you that even the smoke which is in the sky is not the sky. It was from the earth smoke. So the earth has a smoke and the smoke coming up, there's no sky. So then Allah, he went up to heaven and then he made them seven heaven. And then he made the, 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 uh, the lights. You remember? No, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say then. It says. It says then. It says then. It says then. Seven heavens in two days, assigning. Okay, my friend. It's my okay. I I am I'm reading. My friend. My friend. We are done. My friend. We are done. My, yes. Okay, my friend. Does it say in verse number eleven? Then he left up to heaven, and you agreed. Yes, you said yes. Yes, I read it. Yes. Okay. So everything yes. happened after that, isn't it? After this, then happened. That's, that's 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 your opinion. No, that's not my opinion. That's what it says. Then, then, I, then is about timing. No, no, and not only that. Even the verse after it says, "Then you are reading false translation." Here we go. This is a Muslim translation in front of me. The website I have, what, what, the website what, I have what, in the front what, 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 of me. Huh? What, what one? What one? What one is your translation? Tell me. Uh, let me give I'm you. Sure. Let me give you the link. Here we go. So you can yeah. see by your own uh, eyes. Uh, let me chat. Here we go. All right. And here we go. Open the link to save you from uh, looking. Uh, 
and this is Quran wow and this is a Muslim this is your Muslim friend and the translator name is Hilali and Muhammad Khan both of them two guys Okay. I'll compare the book. All right. So does it say in verse number 10, 11 and 12? Then? Let me read it. Then he, his tower, towards the, hev towards the heaven when it was smoked, and said to it and to the earth, come both of you willingly or unwillingly. And they both said, we come willingly. Hmm. Then, he com then he completed and finished from their creation seven heavens in two days, and he made in each heaven is a fair. Mm. And we adorn the nearest heaven with lamps to be adorned as well as God. Such as the, such as is is the degree is the decree of him, the Almighty, the all known. Alright. So does it say then and then twice? He said he said we adorned. Does it say then? Then he completed and finished? Yeah, he completed and finished that. Okay, then, so then, then okay, well, then is coming what? Then is uh, what is after? <laughs> then, I mean, come on, you speak good English. Yeah, I speak English. Well. Okay, so, so, uh, uh, you know, you know what, I mean, if me, I am uh, like confused because English is not my first language, so you speak good English. So now you say to me, you are saying to me, this is not about order. No, this is about order. So, and then the last thing he did, he created the lambs. All right, go on. That's it. This is wrong. Because if this is, you see, remember you said to me, this is was your own interpretation. I'm not even giving interpretation. I'm just reading the, what it's in front of us. Even this one need interpretation. So uh, uh, the verse is so clear that the last thing Allah created here is the stars. But you said, and this is your understanding based on number 41. And I agree with you. 41 saying what you said, that the first thing, it was the stars. But this is not what chapter uh, uh, 41 saying. 79 is the opposite from 41. This In this one, it says adornment. What? Okay, let's, okay. Lamps, I lamps, my, my I friend. Listen, I, under, I, understand, I understand what point you're trying to make, but let's continue. That's it, what you continue what? If this is if this is God, he don't remember which one he finished first, which one he created first. The Quran says, if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. Allah is saying that. So do you have, do you have another example? Of your ideology of contradiction. Okay, within but the but do you agree with me? This is a contradiction or not? Bro, I, I don't I don't I don't agree that this is a valid statement of a contradiction that you're trying to imply. But you have to prove it. Does it say then and then mean after? It does mention then. Okay, so it's after. When Allah created the, the, the lambs, when he was in the earth or after he went to the sky? When he created the lambs. He yeah. On the earth. When, he, when he was in the in earth this, or after he went to the in sky? This, in, 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 in this verse. No, no, no. I, in your understanding. In your understanding. Hold on. So when Allah created the stars, before, when he was on the earth or after he rose to the heaven? This verse. It, men it mentions that I'm not asking you about this verse I'm not saying give me the answer so in your understanding not my interpretation not any interpretation yeah. Allah created the stars after he rose up to the heaven or when he was on the earth in my understanding mm -hmm. it was after, it was after he um, no before he created the earth before he created the earth that's what chapter 79 says we read it ah but uh, chapter 41 says what it says, then after. Okay, I agree on what you're saying. Okay, so this is the opposite. That's it. Islam is gone. <laughs> you can't say Islam is gone. Yeah, because my friend, okay. So when you're God, he said, when you're God, he said, bro, bro. if this is a book made by other than Allah, mm -hmm. do you accept what Allah made as a condition for you to accept the book or not? Or you don't accept? So you, I accept the book. I'm Muslim. 
100%. Oh, no, no, I'm saying, do you accept the condition? The condition. He said, if you, if, there, if this book is made by other than Allah, so what is yeah. the proof that this book cannot be from God? If you find in it contradiction, do you agree with this or you don't? Can you speak Arabic, bro? I am an Arab. All right. So you want to tell me that? See, um... my friend, why you don't answer? Do you agree with your God when He said, "If this is a book made by other than Allah, yeah. you will find in it contradiction"? Chapter four, verse number eighty-two. Do you accept that or you don't? In the book of Allah, you will find the contradiction. No, he is saying, if this is the book, focus, focus mm -hmm. with me. He said, if this is a book made yep. by other than Allah, which means the shaitan, if this is a book made, made by other than it. Allah, my friend, who is going to make books uh, fabricating the word of Allah save shaitan? You, you already have you already have your ideology of you. You have a best. You have answer, a best please answer, of, answer. Of, so, of do you agree with this verse? That Allah said, if this is a book not from Allah, you will find in it contradiction. Do you agree with it or you don't agree? You, will f I don't agree, bro. Oh, so you don't agree with the Quran? I agree with the Quran, but I don't agree with the um, narrative you're coming with. Uh, but the Quran saying that, not me. Bro. What was that? My friend, it's not me who is saying, if this is a book have contradiction, it's not from Allah. It's your God Allah saying that. He said, if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find contradiction. And now you are saying to me you don't agree with it? Where is it? Where is it? Chapter 4, this verse number 82. Verse number 82, yeah. Mm. So the Quran is not from Allah because if Allah in the Quran saying, if you, if this book is made by other than me, you will find in it contradictions. Then you and me, we agree that chapter 41 disagree, contradict chapter 79. So now we have confirmation from Allah Himself that this is cannot be the book of God. Said so, chapter eighty two. Chapter chapter four. Chapter four, not chapter eighty two. No, yeah. Um, verse eighty two. Uh -huh. Do they not consider the Quran carefully? Had it been from other than Allah, they would surely have found there in much contradictions. Mm -hmm. And we found contradictions. And you agreed already. So, why, why I don't get, you showed me one example of... Does it matter how many contradictions? Is that about examples? Are we, are we buying a, a, a falafel and a, a tomato, like one tomato, two tomato? If it is a tomato, it's a tomato. If the food is bad, it's bad. It doesn't matter how many, how, where is the bad is, it's bad. So if the Quran give us the, the logic of confirming what is from God, what is not, then it's not up to you, up to me to say, oh, there's, do you have more examples? More examples of what? You are saying, you're the one asking me for more examples. Example of what? If this is a, if you agree with the contradiction. Okay, well, I don't understand this, yeah? Huh? Let me ask you a question from your Bible. Why do you want to change the topic? Hmm? Why do you want to change the topic? I don't want to change the topic. I just want to ask you a question. It, what, but we we have, you know, are, are, are you confirmed now? Are you confirming with me that the Quran is not the book of Allah? I'm not confirming that and I never will. Bro. But you agreed that the Quran have contradiction. Isn't it you who said to me, it's recorded, that the chapter 79 is contradicting 71, sorry, 41. What you're saying is, yeah, the order in which... It's not me who's saying, it's not me yeah, who's saying, no, 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 this is not me who's saying, it's you, it's you who said that, you did read it, you confirm it, you agree with it, and now you're saying it's, it's you who's saying that? No, it's not. I just showed you the verses, you you, uh, you you did read it, and then you confirm, and you said, yes, this is a disagreement. Is the book of Satan? Huh? You said, 
the, the Quran is the book of Satan. Okay, the verse in chapter 4, verse number 82 says that this is, if this is not from Allah, you will find in it contradiction. So now, if this is a book not from Allah, it's from who? Give me the answer. Who is the one who, yep. mis who, is the one who mislead people? No, Allah. Allah does, Allah, Allah does not mislead people. Allah does not mislead people? This is people. This is people. Listen, if I go to, if I, if I, if I go to another... Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. I'm asking you. Who is the one, if this is not a book from Allah, who is the one who created the book which is not from Allah? Who, I want to listen to your question very carefully. You said, who is the one? If this is a book, because now we found contradiction in the book, the same book saying, if this is a book has contradiction, obviously it's not from Allah. Okay. So now, as long we confirm it's not from Allah because there's a contradiction. So who is the one who made the Quran then? It is from Allah. You're reading a trans No, it's not. From it's not because the Quran says that if this is a book not from Allah, you will find contradiction. If it is from Allah, you will find zero contradiction. Oh, we shouldn't go back and forth. This, the concept that you're coming with, I don't agree to that concept. What concept? I'm not the one who put the concept. It's your Quran. The Quran saying... What, what, what contradiction? What the, con contradiction? The, the contradiction is you agreed. Is, okay, aren't you the one who said, okay, according to chapter 41, it is, it's against what according to chapter 79. Isn't you who agreed with that? From 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 what I'm from what I'm reading, yeah. Okay, so uh, see from what you are reading, not from what I'm saying. Thank you very much. And what you were reading, you were reading the Quran. So from what you were reading, you find contradiction. Okay, you were reading which book? The Quran. So from what you're reading from the Quran, you found contradiction. That means the Quran can't be the book of God because the chapter four, verse number eighty-two says it clearly. If this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find in it contradiction. But what I don't understand, what I, what I don't understand is okay. The, the one you're reading, yeah. The one you're reading, mm. I can open an, I can open another one, and it might and it might have a different translation towards the concept that you're. My reading. friend, the translation have nothing to do with me. I am an Arab. It's you, the yeah. poor you. It's the poor you who have to yeah. pray to a God. You don't even speak his language in his language. In Arabic, in front of me, it says, It's your problem, not my problem. Now, I am showing you right now an Islamic translation. Even I say to you, okay, to see your translation. So all will lead us to one thing, that the Quran cannot be from one God. It can't be. I I, I, that's what, that's your belief. You can't force your belief onto my. I'm life. not forcing my belief. It's you who agreed a second ago. You said to me that based on what you are reading, you said that based on what I'm reading, you said that you're reading, not my reading. You were reading a translation of your choice. Remember, you were reading the translation you like, you choose, and based on the translation you were reading, they contradict. How do, brother? That's why I don't. You, let's skip the topic. Let's go to another topic. Give me another contradiction. No, you said to me when you called Give me. me another okay, hold on. You said to me that when I am like, when I'm talking to the person before you who left Islam, that I'm giving my own interpretation. What is the other thing I said? It was my own interpretation in my conversation with this gentleman who left Islam and become a Christian. It was a long. It was a long conversation. I can't. What do you remember? I, I, I didn't jot down every single thing. What, what, do, you, what do you remember? You don't remember anything? No, me and you, we're having a conversation now. Let's have a, the same conversation you All right. had with that guy. Okay, this okay, okay. I want to ask you, uh, okay. in chapter four, Yes. Uh, this is called a chapter of an nisa Yeah. What an nisa mean? What did you say, pardon? Are you taking time to look and go? Well, I will help you. Chapter 4 and Nisa mean the chapter of the women. Yeah, go on. Okay, what the chapter of the women have to what we are reading? 
how we are calling it the chapter of the women but as you see oh. look what we are reading I mean what is this what does this have to do with women <laughs> have you have you read the whole the, the whole chapter I did I did not even move my screen mm -hmm. it says that if you find a contradiction in this book this is not from Allah okay this is the chapter of the women what this chapter of the women have to do with the verse we are reading chapter about ladies the chapter of the women yeah chapter of the women if we talk about women we might talk about makeup talk about uh, nails we talk about uh, well, the mention the women if you go to verse 34 ah uh, he mentioned women 34 yeah okay so wh why why the whole chapter called the women when most of it is not about women but well, he does mention the women so i don't understand the the point, the point no why know. why it's called the chapter of the women like here is talking about killing people too I don't, you know okay okay Baba, you mentioned to me you mentioned okay you mentioned to me chapter uh, four verse number 34 okay in 34 speaking about women do you agree with beating women Remember, you are the one who quote the verse for me. 34. So do you agree with beating women? I don't agree with that. You don't agree with Allah? As a person. Well, one thing. One thing. Listen, listen. If. So you don't, says, so you don't those, agree. So you don't agree with Allah. It says, as those, as those on whose part you see ill conduct, ill conduct, hmm. admonish them. Hmm. So one example. Yeah. Hmm. Let me give you a, just a, just a basic analogy, yeah. Okay, what is the word Ill, Ill conduct mean? Like something, something, something bad, something. Okay, if a man he did ill conduct, the word ill conduct here is here in Arabic. Let us let us see what it is here. All right, it says nushu the hun. This is ill conduct according to your translation. All right, so nushus, remember that nushus is ill conduct now if a woman she did ill conduct we beat her now explain to me what ill conduct bad improper like what not good behavior okay bad behavior. all right so if a woman she did a bad behavior we beat her what about a man he do bad behavior can the women beat him Oh, but it doesn't okay what I'm reading right now doesn't mention about a man no problem I what, can make a, I can make a verse for you okay okay the same word nishud appear in the Quran about men remember you are the one who says bad behavior yeah. do you know what bad behavior mean like like what Diso being disobedient um, disobedient okay are you sure let's uh, okay let's let's let me give you an example now uh -huh. yeah uh -huh. Let's say you had a you, you had a wife, but your wife is doing some evil things towards you. Like what? And then you like what? It could be many things, probably. Like what? Like what? Like what? Let's say, um, for ex for example, she's putting something in your food or something that you don't know just because. Of like what? What do you mean putting something for you? Like she's trying to kill you? Yeah, maybe. Let's let's use that example now. That's false. Where are you are getting this from, my friend? Pardon? A person tried to kill you, attempted murder. This is not yeah. sometimes someone you 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 school her. You know, if somebody trying to kill you, he commit a murder because you, he might succeed. What are you talking about? You are making false things. Do you have any interpretation support what you are saying? I'm not saying we're talking about just in general. Yeah, no, no, it's not in general. You cannot say that. You gave me an example which is a false example. The show the hun. Okay, you know what? I will go with you guys. So if your wife, she is putting something in your food to kill you. All right, I will go with you. In a second, everybody will see that you are making things up. Okay, what if the man, he did the same act, Nushud? What we do What we do with the man? What should the woman do to the man? Yeah. Remember, oh, you said that the word Nushud, the hun, she, Nushud, mean putting poison in the food to kill you. No, 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 I did, I did. I don't put words in my mouth. I did not say the word Nushun means that. I told you, I give me an example. You said, said to me, it, she is putting something it, for you in your food. It, 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 it conduct. Okay, okay. Give me an example. Give me an example. What is Nashud, ill conduct mean? Ill conduct is 
brother, it's bad behavior, something bad. Give me an example. Oh, disobedient, being disobedient towards your husband, not listening. Okay, so disobedience, said. disobedience, okay. okay. So okay. is that a bad thing or a good thing? That's a bad thing. Okay. If a man, he did the same thing, mm -hmm. that will make him a bad person, is that correct? Towards you. I don't know if he did Nashud. Nashud is the word we are talking about, Nashud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if a man, he did the same it's thing, it's a, it's, it's a bad behavior, right? Okay, so bad how... Behavior. It wouldn't make him a bad person, but a bad behavior. Let's go. Okay, so now we beat the women because she have a bad behavior. All right. So it when... It, say, it, where does it say beat every woman that... It's in front of you. It says, those who... It's you who said to me, ill conduct, mean bad behavior. So what we do with them, it says we beat them. It's... it's let, me, let me finish the verse. Okay. Mm. So as those women whose part you, you you see ill conduct, admonish them. Refuse next. Refuse to share beds. Hmm. Beat them lightly if it's if it's useful. Hmm. It's useful. If, it says it, it says in the Quran, if, it says in the Quran, beat them lightly if it is useful. It says that in the Quran? If if it doesn't say go it doesn't say Where it says if, where it says if, can you show me the word if? In the same in the same translation that you're saying, no, there's no if. This is their false. This is false. Huh? Where it, where it says if, beat them if. Lightly, if useful. No, it says okay. if they are they obey you, then don't take don't don't beat them no more. So and beat them. It says there's no second, there's no first, and there's no lighting. You're adding words there. It says beat them. No lighting. Where is light light the beat light beating? It says, So, uh, There's no lighting, there's no second, there's no first. And if they obey you, then there's no need to do that. They obey you. So now we discover that this is about obedience, correct? Yeah, go on. All right. So now, if your wife disobey you, according to the Quran, you beat her. Do you agree or not? Why are you are laughing? Are you laughing at are you laughing at the Quran? I'm not laughing at the Quran. That's not nice, my friend. That's not nice. We have to respect the book of Allah. Yeah. Okay, so why you are laughing, brother? You hurt you hurt my feeling. You hurt my feeling. So now I I am asking you a question, you are refusing to answer for a reason. I don't know. Is your wife next to you afraid? No. Okay. Don't worry, just close the door, tell her to go and do watch TV. So listen, if your wife she is disobedient to you, do you beat her or you don't? Do you agree with Allah to beat her? I don't, I personally don't agree on beating women, but one thing... I okay, so you don't agree with Allah? Well, you can't say I agree with Allah just because I, I, I don't want to beat women. Uh, no, you don't because you, you, don't, you don't accept the solution. You are saying this is wrong. That's my personal belief. A Muslim don't have a personal belief. You see, you remember, when you called me, you said to me, this was your personal interpretation. Now you, it's you who is doing personal game. It's not up to you. It is the Quran saying, you do this with them. This is the solution from Allah. Do you have a better solution than Allah's solution? The Quran gives you guidance as a Muslim. Okay, the guidance is, the guideline says, beat them. If. What if? Beat them lightly if first there's no light, they stop lying, my friend. Why you are adding why you are why you are adding words that you sent me? I'm I'm reading from the link that you sent me. Well, I am reading the same link. Here we go. Let me I don't know. I don't I want to see what it says lightly. Here we go. I will send you the link. Here we go. Yeah. How you are sent reading from the same link. I have okay. the same page. Yeah, here read. we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, open it. it. Open it. Read it what it says. Open it. Go ahead. I'm 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 in it. Okay. Where it says lightly, it says beat them. I don't see lightly. And those who you fear may be rebellious, admonish them, banish them in their uh, couches, which is fast translation in, in their in their rooms, and then uh, and beat them. There's no lightly. 
And this is a translation. And this is a translation. Oh, this is a translation of Arbory. Hold on. Arbory, Arbory. Yeah, okay. And tell me, tell me if I'm wrong. All right. Did you open the link I just sent you? I opened the link. Okay. There is no likely. It's a fabrication, not in Arabic. And even if you have it in your false translation there, they are lying. There's no likely. Have you seen it? Huh? I've sent you the link, the same link that you sent me. Okay, website, maybe different website. translator, maybe different translator. This website have many translation, but it's a lie because in Arabic, and I change any Muslim in the world to show me where the word likely. Here we go. You can use Google Translation. It says, No likely. Not even exist there. And there's no if. The only time the word if is exist is after here. فَإِنْ أَطَعْنَكُمْ so and if they obey you then don't don't go for it so the purpose of beating the women in Islam is to make you to make her obedience to you there's no likely you know did your prophet be, uh, 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 support a man for beating his wife until her skin became a greener than her clothes what did you say father did your prophet support a man who did beat his wife until her clothes until her skin became a greener than her clothing. Did my prophet support? It says in the it says in the Quran, but what's the reason? I'm asking you. Know you I'm asking you. If a man he did beat his wife until her yeah. skin became a greener than her clothing, is that against Islam or this is in total agreement with the teaching of Allah and He's a prophet? I said beat them lightly. The word lightly is not there. Listen. My friend, don't waste my time. You see, if you want to act like a kid, it's your business. You know, okay, I'm not so, like okay, can you show me the word light? Can you show me the word lightly? They are lying to you. Whatever translation you are reading, my friend, my friend, why you are doing this to so yourself? Why, why? You're, you're, choosing, you're choosing the translation. I'm not choosing any translation. I don't care for okay. translation. I'm an Arab. This is a translation for you. The Muslims, this is a proof that Muslims are a bunch of liars. I am asking you in the front of everybody. I'm, I'm, can you I'm show really, me, my friend? I'm, I'm, really I'm asking. I'm asking you, please. Can you show me the word lightly in the Arabic Quran? If you can show it to me, I will apologize to you in the front of everybody. Is that fair? Open the last link. Huh? I've, I've sent you the link. This is a false. There's a there's a million translation there. This is false. That's what I'm saying. So you're saying you you. Okay, now you agree that there's a million translations, but you use. The I word agree that, that all term. Muslim translation are lying because they try to make the Quran look nicer. I'm not using translation because I like it. I'm using translation because this is your translation. Because you don't speak Arabic too. If you speak Arabic, I do not need it. You do not need it. Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm asking you now. Can we find the word likely exist in the Quran or only in the false Muslim translation? Are you there? Oh, you speak Arabic. So, huh? Yeah, uh, so what? I don't care. I want you to tell me, confirm to me. Can we find the word likely, beat them lightly, in the Arabic Quran? What about, what about you copy the sentence as it is and put it in Google Translation? If the word lightly there, okay. Is that fair, guys? If the word lightly there, I mean, why Google want to hide it? Google working, working for me? <laughs> Here we go. I will do that in the front of you. Hold on. I will do that in the front of you. I will copy. I will copy. I will copy the sentence, you know. Here we go. Hmm? And I will go to Google Translation. If the word lightly there, ah, 
Then the, this gentleman, he was saying the truth, you know. All right. This is Google. Do you see the word lightly? One second, sorry. I'm trying to do it. Mm. You can use Google from your side. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, sorry. Okay. And tell me if you can't find the word lightly. If there's no lightly, it means they are fooling you and lying to you. Shame on them. They are adding words to the Quran, it's not there. A translator, yeah, a translator should not add words. If Allah did not say lightly, you don't add lightly. You know, that is a false translation. You only say what is there. It's not up to me to add things. So what uh, what Google says to you? In Google, it doesn't mention lightly, yeah. Okay, so uh, do you think I'm saying the truth or I'm lying? No, you're not lying. Okay, so so there's no lightly. Now we go back to zero. So right. if the woman she disobey me, I beat her. You said you didn't agree with that. That means you find that this is not right to do as a person. As a human, so you are a Muslim who choose uh, what you think is right, what you think is not right. So now you are saying to me that you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't say that every Muslim beats their wife. I'm not saying you beat your wife. I don't care if you beat your wife or not. This is your business. Uh, but yeah, I, I, you know, I, my friend, I am from the Middle East, but I know that most of women in the Middle East they beat their husbands. You know, actually in Morocco, they have organization to defend men right because most of them, they go winded to the hospital because their women, they are big, they are so huge and the men, they are so small. So men, they get smashed in the Middle East. So now uh, the Quran is trying to give an upper hand to the, to the, to the men because women are the one really strong and women, they are stronger than them. Uh, this is what happened to your prophet when he have a fight with the Aisha and Hafsa. Do you remember what happened? What happened? Allah, he, uh, Muhammad, he asked for the help of Allah. Mm -hmm. Okay, why you want to ask for the help of Allah if you have a fight with your wife? Oh, to seek guidance from Allah. What do you mean? Seek what? If you, if you, why do you want to have um, ask ask for help for for Allah if you have problem with your wife? No, he's asking Allah for protection. Mm -hmm. from his wives so who is the one beating who so what you're trying to say is his wife used to beat him are you telling me if i am calling allah if i call the police now says please come here my wife she is you know i need protection what does that mean what it's mean that i need protection does it specify that the wife was physical against so you need protection from his wife from what? He can divorce her. Divorce her. He don't even dare to divorce her, obviously. He's afraid. That's why he's asking Allah. Okay, uh, did he call the Muslim to come protect him too or only Allah? From what you're saying, it's only Allah. I did not say that. I'm asking you. I said, did he call the Muslims to come and protect him or only Allah can protect him? I'm not sure about that. I don't want to say something that I'm not sure. Oh, well, I can help you. So right. if I call Allah and every believer to come and help me, is that clear that Muhammad was beaten by his wives and he cannot, he does not know what to do with them? Does it say, does it say that Muhammad was beaten by his wife? Well, it says, it says that, it says, okay, my friend, it says that he is calling Allah for protection. Allah is sending warning to the wives. If you are, you know, if you, if you go against him, Allah is his protector. This, this was my, this was my point at the start, at the start of this conversation, at the start of this conversation, okay. conversation uh -huh. saying that you're using your own ideology to describe 
certain things in the way. No, you you explain to me. You explain to me. Okay, if I call if I call the believers to involve that. Okay, so if you have a fight with your wife, do you call the neighbors and everybody in the town to protect you? Did it specify that he had a fight with his wife? So what he have? Did it specify? Yeah, it says he have a fight. Yeah, it says it says the wives going against him. The wives, the wives are against him. The wives are against this man. So, if if not a fight, so it's what? Why you are calling all the neighbors and all that, the town? That, 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 that could mean okay. The wife is against him. That could mean that his wife is disobedient towards him. Okay, it we go back to zero. Wonderful, guys. Could, his okay, wife could, can be. Oh, hold, hold on. Okay, his wife is just be. Hold on, so listen. You, you see, you just made it uh, more horrible. You just said it could be. You just said his wife could be. His wife. Listen, listen. His wife could be disobedient, but chapter four, verse number thirty-four says, "Beat them." But he's asking Allah for protection. Okay, how a person he can beat you asking Allah for protection if you are the one who can beat? It, it, should, it should the woman do the opposite. The woman should ask Allah for protection because the man is beating her. So is it Muhammad beating his wives or it was the opposite? The wives was beating Muhammad. It did not say that Muhammad's wife. But you agree that the Quran says to <laughs> Muhammad, if your wife is disobedient, you are the one who mentioned the example. It's you who mentioned the example. Maybe they are disobedient. Wonderful. So Muhammad can beat them. Why is asking for the support of Allah? It could mean. It could mean. That's like someone else. Someone else reading the same. Okay. Thing. Okay. So they, now they, I, I'm they, asking you. I'm they, asking you. Okay. So when Muhammad is asking Allah and the believers, when when Muhammad, you tell me the answer. I'm not going to give you the answer. Do you understand? Do you understand I, I will understand from you. You explain to me. So when Muhammad is asking Allah and the believers to protect him from his two wives, how they can do that? Maybe talk to her, give her advice. Uh huh. Protect him. Protect him. It says protect him. I cannot give you a direct explanation of why he's seeking protection from his wife. What about the angels? Should, cannot, should we call? You cannot, you, cannot, you, cannot, you cannot conclude from that statement that his wife was beaten. Okay. Should you, okay. If, 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 if I if ask, going, if, if, if I ask for the angels too. You just told me, you just told me, hmm. just five minutes ago, you just told me that the word lightly, if it doesn't say it lightly, then fair enough. Where does it say? Where does where does where does it where does it say that the the wife was beaten, Muhammad? Uh, because he's a man. Because he's a man, and the oh, man is does, asking. Okay, hold say, on. Okay, okay. Say, I, 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 I'm, I'm going with you. Okay, I will go with you. I will go with you. So where it says where it says beating him. I'm going with you. Hold on. I'm, I'm going with you, my friend. I'm going with you. So as long as long Muhammad is not being beaten. Why he need the whole universe protection from two women? You tell me the answer. Go ahead. I don't know. You see, you avoid answering by saying, I don't know what a smart answer. I'm not avoiding because... No, hold on. By facts. Okay. What, by facts, what, what, what fact? What fact? What fact? What fact? Okay, the fact says, the fact says that his two wives, they are against him. And okay. now he is saying... If so you go, if you go against him, Allah is his protector. Allah. Can I ask you a question? Okay, listen. What what the word protector mean? Protection. What the word protection mean? Well, it's just, it's just a protection. Obviously, if. You can get protected in different ways. Protection okay, so have we have two women. Have they have two women. Okay, give me the way. Protected. They are two women. They are not army. They are not uh, soldiers. They are not CIA. So what is the okay, protection, so Muhammad? He need Allah and every believer and Jibreel and air and furthermore all the angels to protect him from those two women. So when you when you when you're praying to Jesus, don't you pray sometimes that Jesus protect me from evil? You are changing the topic. Yeah, I'm not. A, I am not a woman. I am not a woman fighting with my husband, my friend. This is about a husband and a wife, and the women she in Islam supported. She is subdued to the man to the point I can beat her, and then suddenly we find that Muhammad is a potato. He don't even dare to beat his wives. He don't. Can, he cannot control them. 
He have no authority. You can't call him. You can't. You can't call him a potato. Bro. Well, he is because if I call all the neighbors to protect me from my wives, what kind of a man I am? But you don't know the depth. Of the you story. tell me. Okay. What? So whatever the reason, what can happen between a wife and the husband? The guy, nobody left. He invited every believer. He invited every angel. He invited Allah. He invited does Jibreel. Is there anyone left? Who's left? Does it? Does does it does it say that Muhammad's wife beat Muhammad? It does not say that. So what so they what they, they are doing? They are biting him. Valid, so what what it says? What, so what they are doing? They are biting him. It's, it's not a valid point. Okay. What? So tell me what they are doing then. If they, if they are not biting him or beating him, so what they are doing? To the point, he need all of those. He need Allah and Jibreel. And every righteous believer, Al-Qaeda, ISIS, uh, Hamas, uh, uh, all the Muslims oh, in the world, about, including you. Come. I, I see that you like to use you like to use Hamas for a lot of examples of Muslims, but Hamas is they're their own group. They are not Muslims. They are, they worship well. They worship a lot. However. That's, that's like you saying that every okay Christian, every, every, okay let me ask every, you every Christian, every okay you are trying to change the topic I want to ask like you is Aisha and Hafsa is Aisha and Hafsa is are they member of Hamas Pardon? is Aisha and Hafsa the wives of Muhammad are they member of Hamas what do you mean are they members of Hamas because why he's why he is terrified because you said to me Hamas is just an own group you're trying to make Hamas not Muslim now okay so Hamas is bad according to you no problem so Aisha and Hafsa why they are scaring the hell of Muhammad to the point he's asking Allah it's not it's not asking actually Allah is talking saying if you two the wives of Muhammad namely Aisha and Hafsa okay. turn in repentance yeah. to Allah it will be better for you but if you don't hello if you don't you should know that Allah is his Mawla, which means he is master, protector, etc. And Jibreel and all righteous among the believers. Furthermore, all the angels who is left. You know, this is a statement you can say if you want to fight with Putin, the guy he have nukes. So Muhammad is asking for the help of everybody. Nobody left in the sky. Well, nobody you said, you, you left. Nobody said, left in the sky. You, nobody left in said, the earth. Okay, I'm asking you, you my, said, my friend. You, what you is the problem? What is what is, is the is risk? Different. What is the danger? Muhammad is facing to the point. Everybody yes, yes, in heaven and earth is involved to defend Muhammad from his wives. Brother, you saying, you saying that his wives beat him? Is it is it true or not? That that's your speculation from what you have read. Give me other answer. You know, I'm not smart like you. Give me the answer. <laughs> is that your speculation or not? So when else? So they are biting him. Like what women will do? What women will do? Okay, listen, listen. What a wife? What a wife she can do? What a wife she can do with the husband? Either she scratch him with her nails, or throw him, throw shoes, shoes at him, or she bite him, or she pull him from his hair. Choose one. I don't care. So now, what kind of a prophet is God saying to him? Can Allah be enough to protect Muhammad from his wives? I don't, I don't get the points you're trying to let make. Me, let me repeat the questions. Let, think with me carefully. Listen carefully. I'm thinking. I'm okay. Thinking. Can I'm can thinking. Allah can Allah protect Muhammad alone? Can Allah be enough to protect Muhammad? Of course. Hmm. So how you explain to me this chapter? Chapter 66, verse number 4. Read it. Okay, if you both, let me let me read it from your your your, your one. Hmm. So we have the same description. Okay. Sixty-six, verse number four. Yeah. If you two, yeah, turn turn in repentance to Allah, your hearts are indeed so inclined. But if you help one another against him, then verily Allah is his Mullah and Jibril and the righteous among the believers and furthermore the angels are his helpers. Hmm. What's going on? 
So 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 Allah so 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 Allah Allah can protect him. You just Allah. said to me, you just said to me, Allah is enough. I said to you, is Allah alone is enough to protect Muhammad? You said yes. Baba. My friend, did you say to me that Allah alone is enough? If Allah alone is enough, here we go, he got the protection of Allah. So what the rest of the party for? Nobody left. One billion well, Muslims, one billion Muslims are invited to the fight. Listen, listen. Who is the one who's talking Allah? If Allah, he knew, he can do it alone. Is it not Allah that's sending the angels? Ah, hold on. So Allah cannot protect Muhammad. He have to send the angels. Thank you. Is that enough? What? I don't. I don't get. I don't get the point you're trying to make. You are trying to avoid the point. You are. You are getting it. Allah sent the angels. Okay, He sent Jibril. Jibril have six hundred thousand winds. So or six hundred and uh, six hundred thousand. So. That's the way Allah. That's, that's the way Allah is protecting him. Okay, okay. One angel can and Jibril can Jibril alone protect Muhammad? No. Can Allah alone protect Muhammad? No, because he need Jibril. Okay, now so we have Allah, we have Jibril. Is it enough to protect Muhammad? No. The proof in front of you and every righteous among the believer. So now we have a billion Muslim. They will join the fight. Is that enough? No. And furthermore, all the angels, all of this to fight two women. They are five foot tall. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what point you're trying to. My point is, that. Muhammad was a potato. If he can control he his household, he yes, he was. If he can control he his household, he will not publish his laundry, and the laundry will not smell so bad to the point it went all the way to Allah. He put it in the machine. He found no solution. So he sent it back. He published it in public. And now he is threatening those two women. Listen, if you don't behave, I'm coming. Not only me, Jibreel with me. Not only me, every righteous believer. Uh -huh, not only that, all the angels. Who's left? I mean, this is a statement you can say if you are going to have third, like world war, like the end of the time war, like you have a massive army. It's just two women. One of them, she's a kid. Bro, in the translation that I'm reading, yeah, they've got a different speculation towards your speculation. Give me the uh, speculation you have. Give me, give me the one you have. In bracket, in brackets, it says to. It said, okay, um, turn into repent in repentance. Yeah, they are doing something bad. He's listen, saying to them, okay, no, no, no. He's saying, listen, if you don't repent, if you don't repent, Allah listen, will come. Listen, listen. Listen, listen, repent is the condition. If they don't repent. Allah is his protector. He said if they oppose, if yeah, oppose, okay. They, they oppose, you see, they, you see, they, you are the one who said to me, you are the one who said to me the word is not there while you are adding it. You see, now it's added, it's in between, between two brackets. Where's oppose? No, 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 no. There's I'm no just, oppose. I'm just, telling, I'm just telling you another speculation from a person that okay. So I'm asking that. you now, okay. So, so what, is you you what is the problem? What is the problem? How the wives of Muhammad are disobedient to Muhammad? He says, repent what they if, did. If your speculation. Okay, yes, what they did. Okay, the listen, listen, your listen. Your is that the okay, I want to ask yes, you. Sir. I want to. I want to ask you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What? Your speculation is that the wives will be. be my speculation yes, no. that one of the wives of Muhammad. Yes, she, no. you said it. Okay, my speculation is one of the wives. She locked Muhammad in the bathroom. She will not open the door unless he promised her will not to cheat again. The other wife, she have a shoe high, like high, high, high heel shoes, ten inch. She opened a hole in his head. Prove me wrong. And now he is inside the bathroom. The door is locked. He cannot get out. He don't dare to get out. So he, they give them a verse from the Quran saying, listen to me, if you don't repent, Allah is my protector. And not only that, Zibril is coming. We, 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 we. And not only Zibril. Listen, listen. Furthermore, all the believers, the, all the army. And not only that, furthermore, the angels who is left. All of this because there's two women. One of them, she did bite Muhammad. And the other woman, she hit him with her shoes. Prove me wrong. So, so one, so one second. In the Quran, it says that Ash, um, Asha beat Muhammad with, with her shoes. Well, give me then what happened. What this Quran for? Mm -hmm. What this Quran for? If we cannot understand what is behind the story, what is the story? What is happening? How the believer? Said, how no, the believer? You, 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 you said you, you literally just said that. Yes or no? What? What I said that? That Aisha beat Muhammad with a heel until there's a hole in the set. 
Yeah, he, there's two holes actually. I have a witness. He, what some they, I have two witnesses. They said two holes. There's a third witness. He said he saw four. You know because I is, 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 is that in the Quran? No, this is in the whole uh, uh, movie. What Quran? <laughs> I'm asking you. You said to me, I do not know. This is this is this is what I'm saying. So what I am saying to you answer. that this is going to be a book from God. I mean, God, He don't need to this drama for two women fighting with the man inside his house. They are his wives. Very simple. It is not enough for this drama. I mean, who is left? Uh, Osama bin Laden is coming. Uh, the Caliphate of ISIS is coming. Az Zawahri is coming. Uh, Hamas is coming. Uh, I mean, what is it enough? Maybe he will call Netanyahu for it. It is just two women fighting Muhammad. What is Islam is for? And I will tell you a story. Muhammad, he sent his wife. He told her, your father is waiting for you. He want to see you. She went there and she asked her dad, did you ask for me? She, she, he said, no. So she felt suspicious. She went back home and she found Muhammad in the top of a woman. She is his maid. Her legs was up and Muhammad in the top of her. So his wife, she said to him, Fi bayti wa ala ya Muhammad. In my house, in my bed, you idiot. So Muhammad, now he promised her that he will make her father caliphate after him. The wife, she told the other wife. The other wife, she told the other other wife. And then the other wife, she told other other wives. And the other wife, she told the whole town. And then after all the town learned, Allah told Muhammad, what do you think about the story I just told you? It's my speculation or this is what happened? Where did you read that, brother? I'm asking you, and I, I did not read it anywhere. I'm just smart. Is it in the Quran? Yes or no? I'm just being smart. I just told you that I am making a speculation. So how do you want to prove that your speculation is a fact for in order for you so to... So what do you think it? about the story I just told you? Do you agree with it or it sound funny and stupid? Some of it sounds funny. Some of it? Which some? Uh, brother, I don't agree. Okay, I'll give you a straight up answer. I don't agree with your story. So why? The, why the story doesn't sound smart? No, it's not about smart or stupid or. So what? It I'm is... telling you. Should give me an example from the Quran where it specifies. That well, what I can do, I give up. I'm just trying to find out what's happening. So I told you that Muhammad he told his wife something. The wife she told the other one something. Then something got to something, and then she told the other women, and the women she told other we women. Prove, we can't prove that, so we can't jump into the conclusion saying that this is what happened, this is what happened. So if I, okay, do you agree with my conclusion, or you think it's silly and stupid? I don't agree with your conclusion. Why? Because it's silly and stupid? If you, that's, that's your words, if you want to use that Thank word. you very much, but this is what the Quran is saying. Thank you for saying this is silly and stupid. Here we go. That's, if you if you read the verse before it, you will see the most funny, stupid Quran made by God ever. And remember when the prophet S.A.W. declosed a matter of confidence to one of his wives, between the bracket Hafsa, so when she told the other now women, Aisha, Allah made it known to him, Muhammad, he informed part of it, not all part, and therefore, then he told her, Hafsa, therefore she said, who told you this? He said, all knower, all aware. You just say this is silly and stupid. What? This is he God did talking? Did it, did it specify what you said? Yeah, this is God talking. He told her something. She said something, something, something. And, and, and yeah. The prophet disclosed a matter in, conf in, in confidence to one of his wives. So she told it to <laughs> another, Aisha. And Allah made it known to him. He informed part thereof and left a part. Then when he told her thereof, she said, who told you this? He said, the all knower and the all aware. That's the that's the deep chapter, my friend. So, can you tell me what's going on? So, 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 what, what, in that, in that. Can in you tell me what? Don't, 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 don't listen. Can you tell me what's going on? What, what he told her? What he told her? She told him. He told her Hafsa Haisha. She told him, and then Allah made it some of it known to him. Why didn't tell him all the story? I mean, what's going on? We want to know what's happening. What what, so, what, what, what kind story? of? A, okay, you said to what, me that this, uh, you said to me that the Quran is the book of guidance. Don't you feel so confused? I mean, this is guidance. Bro, I want the, you to tell me, uh, my, my, my friend, my friend, my my friend. What's what's your name? What's your name? What's your what's your name? What's your name? What's your what's your name, my friend? What's your name?
My name is Samba. Samba? Yeah. Like dance, Samba? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, that's a dangerous dance. Now, I, maybe this verse is about Samba. It looked like one missed up. So listen, listen to this. So if I ask you now, and you said to me, this is the book of guidance. What is the guidance you learn from the book of guidance? Inter give me interpretation. Go ahead. Or being a, following the Quran is a way of life. Okay, a way of life that the prophet told his wife as a, a, a matter of confidence. The other wife told the other wife. And then the other wife, she told the other wife. And then Allah told Muhammad some of it, not all of it. And then she said to him, who told you this? He said to her, ah, Allah, the all knew her. What is this? Okay, told her, what told her, what she told him, what we are talking about. Do you know what, do you know what, you, what you told her? You don't know. I told you, I told you, he found, they found him having sex with the maid. Her legs was up like victory sign. Where, where does it say that? I, I, I was guessing. <laughs> You cannot guess for something that something something that suits your your <laughs> argument because it can be anything. Just have a broad mindset. It okay, so now this is the book have, of have guidance. Broad, broad okay, hold on. Look what you just said. You just said that this is the book of guidance, but it could be anything. Let me guess. This is talking about Trump going in election against Joe Biden. Trump, he told his wife and he told his daughter a matter of confidence. So she said to him, Ivanka. Who, who, who you really? So she told the wife of Trump, Trump wife, she went to CBN, NBC TV, and she told them, they said to her, where you get this gossip from? She said, well, Allah, he informed me some, and he did not tell me some. What is this? This is the book of gossip. This is, this is a story of two old women and they're 120 years old, and they are gossiping. They don't have anything to do. They are retired. What is this? Remember, you're using one verse to describe the whole. Quran. Okay, give me like what that. verse? This is that. This is the beginning of the chapter. The chapter. Here we go. The beginning of the chapter. At Tahrim, O Prophet, why do you burn yourself from what Allah made lawful for you, seeking the praise of your wife and Allah all, all forgiven? Okay, can you tell me what the Prophet he forbid himself? This verse number one. Huh? Huh? It's not specified. It's not specified. So how this is the book of guidance, how we can understand what's going on if this book is messed up. What well, this has happened, the wife she found him, the wife she found him in the top of the maid, her legs was up like a victory sign, free Palestine. And then she said, free Palestine, which means free my maid. And then the prophet was doing boom, boom. Your, and then this is not you my, make, no, make, this, is the, this is you the, this is the. You can use that speculation if it makes you feel better. It's what? You can use that speculation if it makes you feel better, but you and I know that is not mentioned in the Quran specifically. Okay, so uh, what if I prove it to you? True, true, true or not? What if I prove it to you that this is what prove happened? Prove what if I prove it? Please. Do you accept the interpretation? Please. Please prove it. Do you accept the interpretation? What do you mean? What do you mean? You do not know now what interpretation means? I'm reading the interpretation. If it, if, if it, please just show me what happened. Do, I, do you accept the interpretation? I'm saying, I'm asking you, do you accept the interpretation? Or you well, don't? Obviously, I accept the interpretation of what I'm reading. Yes. Okay. So now, if we go and find the interpretation, you accept whatever interpretation is saying. Do we agree? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let us see. All right. Uh, I want you to read this with me. Does it say that Hafsa she well, found? Read, read, read what? Where, where, where? Tell me. This is the book of Asbab al Nuzul, chapter 66, verse number one. And this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. This is official. So the Hafsa. She found him when she went to the house. She entered the house is, is of. In, he said the Quran. Is that in the Quran. This is the interpretation. You remember, I said to you, if I show you the interpretation, you will accept. You said yes. Said the Quran. Yes, this is the Quran, the Quran interpretation. The Quran is translated. No, this is the Quran interpretation. This is the chapter we are talking about, chapter sixty-six, verse number one. 
I asked you, do you accept interpretation? You said yes. Well, I thought, I thought you meant the translation from the Quran. I want to see it. I said interpretation, and you said to me, no. You said yes. No, you said no, no, no. You said you accept interpretation. It's recorded. Did you say a second ago you accept interpretation? Okay, show me. From directly from the Quran. Interpretation for the Quran, yes. And this was called interpretation. Directly from the Quran. What we're reading, how in the world you can find interpretation, Abdul? How it is interpretation and how it is in the Quran? You're trying to confuse me now. I'm not confusing you. Allah confusing you. Like she said to her, and he said to her, and then she said to him, and he said, "Who said that to you?" He said, "Do you say what you said?" You know, I saw what you say, and he said to her, and then she said to the, you know, uh, and, uh, hold on, I have a quote. Good print. First of all, you are trying to deceive the person, and that's not really with the Muslim. Second, like how you jump in this conversation between me and this uh, Abdul Samba. Good print. First of all, it's Arab word to dance Samba. Shut up. He likes Samba. His name even is Samba. It's not only he danced Samba with. Look what he's doing. Are you dancing Samba with me? Even Zakir Naik is upset. Listen, listen. The Messenger of Allah, bless him, entered the house of Hafsa along with his uh, wife, uh, uh, as the mother of his son, Maria. When Hafsa, she found him with her in intimate moment. In what? What, what, what she found him? I say to you that she found him in the top of her and she have give, given victory sign to Allah. Her legs is up. Does it say in intimate moment? Send, send, send me a link of what you're reading, please. Hmm. Ah, you like it now, huh? Intimate, huh? A second ago, a second ago, you don't want to listen to me. The second we say intimate moment, you, you're interested. You're in. My point is, this is a stupid book. I mean, the man is having sex with his slave, and obviously, okay, it is. Look at this. This is God. This is God talking. Uh, go, go, read it. Read. Does it say? Does it? Does it say? Does it say? It's not a religion. Islam is intimate moment between sexual uh, pervert man and his, uh, you know, uh, sex slaves. Read it. <laughs> Bravo. Read it. Read the it. whole story she told his wife and the wife she told the other wife and then Allah told them, if you don't repent, I will send Jibreel and me and the old uh, uh, believer and everybody and, you know, Joe Biden, you know the thing. Who's left? All of this because Muhammad, he cannot keep his penis inside the zipper am i lying you said to me where you get this from you said i made i said a mother of his son a mother of prophet she Muhammad. is his slave he never have kids but this is what they are saying no problem I'm still I'm still she is I'm not I'm his I'm wife I'm so already he is fornicating listen I'm, I'm reading. I'm, I'm, yeah I'm reading. I'm reading. she is the mother of his son not his wife it says I'm, there you see I'm, if I'm, she is his I'm, wife I'm, they will I'm, say I'm, if I'm, she I'm, is I'm, his I'm, wife I'm, i know i know does it say I'm, the mother of his son or it says his wife says the mother of his son. Thank you very much. He is not his wife. So Muhammad not only fornicating now, he's making babies with from fornication. That's what you claim. No, this is what it says. She is not his wife. Said the mother the mother of his son. Because he's a, because he's a fornicator. Because he's a fornicator. This is why it doesn't say his wife. You see when you you're given an argument. You need to state the facts. You're I am stating the fact. This is why the you're wife, she's upset. This is the wife, she is upset. She is his maid. She is his maid. She is not the wife. What, huh? Brother, you're just giving... I don't, I don't understand. He said the mother of his son. I'm asking you in front of everybody. Is she the wife of the Prophet? Maria. Is she the, pro the, the, the wife of the Prophet? Yeah. I don't know about the Prophet having a wife called Maria. Uh, so you just answer yourself while you are playing games with me. So she is not his wife. Thank you very much. So now, Muhammad having sex with the maid. The wife, she found him in the top of her, in her bed, in bed, in intimate moment. This is your false translation, by the way. In Arabic, it says more. So, 
in intimate what, moment. What did, what, did, what did he say in Arabic? He was if in her, what he's going to do. You think he was looking for his phone? Mm -hmm. What do you think? He was charging or make, in Arabic it says he was recharging her battery. That's what it says in Arabic. Yeah, he put the cable. Yeah. Uh-huh. Samsung. Yeah. <laughs> so now so do you agree with me that the whole story is a stupid story? The guy is having sex with the maid, the wife she gets so angry. And then he told her, I will make your father caliphate. And he promised her, look how coward he is. He swear by Allah that he will never touch her anymore. Never, ever. And then after he did that, he felt, he, you know, she is beautiful. She is a blonde. She is pretty. He like her. But now he made a verse. He made a promise. So Allah said to him, why you forbid yourself from what Allah made lawful for you? Now, I'm, I want to ask you, in Islam, is it lawful for you to have sex with your maid? No. So why is having sex with the maid? Brother. What, did brother? He not seek, did he not seek forgiveness to Allah? What forgiveness? So I can now, so I, I'm a prophet of God. And but but the verse says what is lawful for you. Okay, hold on, hold on. You said it's not lawful. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said everybody heard you. It's not lawful for him to have sex with his maid, correct? Yeah. Okay, but the verse saying it's lawful for him. <laughs> then why would he seek forgiveness? Thank you very much. You are the one who said, but he seek forgiveness. This is a stupid religion no, again. No, it is it is falafel. Listen, no, 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 if no. it is Allah, he is asking Muhammad, why you made her unlawful for you? Why you why you forbid yourself from what Allah made lawful for you? I asked you, is it lawful for Muhammad to have sex with his mate? You said no. So where in the Quran it says lawful? You see, you remember we spoke about contradiction before. You, you said to me, can you give me the example? Here we go. There's no a single place in the Quran. Listen, there's not a single place in the Quran says that it is made lawful for Muhammad or any Muslim man to have sex with his maid. What the Quran is saying, you can have sex with captured slave, not with the maid. Not with so, the maid, capture so, only, capture from war. Can I, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I read another interpretation from a different guy? You can read, uh, give me the name so we can laugh. Um, Al-Miqbas. Al-Miqbas? Um, Ibn Abbas, um, Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas yeah. Okay, here we go, here we go. I'm reading Ibn Abbas in front of me. Thank you very much. Ibn Abbas is my cousin. Go ahead. Okay. Mm. So, um, and from his his narration of the authority of Ibn Abbas, yeah, that he said regarding the interpretation of Allah saying, uh -huh. yeah, Muhammad marrying Maria, yeah, Muhammad what? The, what, what? Should I read the brackets? What uh, what bracket? From the interpretation regarding his interpretation, Allah saying, "O Prophet." O Prophet, i.e. Muhammad, B -B -U -H, yeah, yeah. why banish though right. which Allah has made lawful for you, uh, i.e. marrying Maria the cop, but he did not marry her. Yeah, listen. So he's sleeping with her before he marry her? Yeah, listen. <laughs> the, mother, the mother of Ibrahim, uh -huh. because he had forbidden himself from marrying her. That's false translation. He forbid himself from effing her, my friend. He forbid himself from effing her. This is a false translation. This is a false. No, not not Mary from Nikah. Okay, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. I will go with you. I will go with you. Okay, I will go with you. I will go with you. Now, Allah said to him, "Why you forbid yourself from marrying her?" According to you, right? Okay. But did we did we read in the previous? page Pardon. where it says that she found him with her intimate and you are the one who says to me that she is the mother of his son mother of Ibrahim yeah. okay so now Muhammad he have a son from a woman she is not married to him yet yeah so what he is <laughs> Yeah. 
fornicator. <laughs> so now you try to help it. Now you get your prophet more busted. He is not married to her. In fact, he never married her. And now he have a son before he marry her, but he never marry her anyway. So what that will make Muhammad a fornicator? And now you are saying to me, why Allah made it, why you forbid yourself from what is made lawful for you? So Allah did not forget to send him a verse when he was having sex with the women. She is not his wife yet. Seeking the pleasure of his wife. No problem. But why Allah did not send him a verse says, you idiot, why you are asleep? Hold on, hold on. Is it lawful? Listen, listen, I will go back with you. You said, I ask you, is it lawful for Muhammad to have sex? I said to you, is it lawful for Muhammad to have sex with his maid? You said no, correct? Hence why he say, seek forgiveness. Okay, hold on. So why Allah did not send him a verse then when the guy already having kids with the women according to you, but now because he said, I forbid myself from marrying her. Allah, he sent a verse for him. So shouldn't he say to him, first of all, you idiot, how you are having sex with the women where Allah was when Muhammad is sleeping with the women and you have kids from her. All this time, Allah did not send verses. He did not notice this is haram. Now he noticed this is haram. So we sleep with the women, we have kids from the women, and then Allah, he don't say anything. But then one day, my wife, she comes, she found me. That's in the, your, that's your this is not my conclusion. Same they, time, they, nowhere he says, has, this is not about marrying her. Listen, okay, let me woman, ask you, did he, did, he marry this, did he marry this woman? He did not marry the woman because he's tried to please his other wife. Okay, so That's now, no, Allah, he gave him. Are you saying to me that Muhammad, he kept what he said? He promised not to marry her. And now, Allah, he said to him, why do you don't want to marry? The pleasure of his okay, wife. so are you saying to me that Muhammad, he here, he disobeyed Allah again, and he forbid himself from marrying Mary the cook. Again, again, it doesn't mention how many times he slept with her. It doesn't mention all of that. He, 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 it, yours, no, it mentioned he slept with her. You are the one who said the mother of his son. And now the wife, she came, she found him in intimate position. Correct. So he slept with her before. And he slept with her after. Does it, does it, does it, does it, speci does it specify that? they had the child before that yes um, it, it, it's it, 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 abdul are you, are you with me it says in the front of you the mother of his son uh, listen of listen the uh, mother of his son so did she get his son before why he's saying the mother of his son because he's sleeping with her and you said he never married her so you're a prophet is fornicating non stop so so so, so. So, 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 so what? So, you're a prophet. Okay, I, let me repeat again. Did your prophet give any right to have sex with Mary the Copt, his servant? You said no, correct? Hence why you seek for forgiveness. It doesn't matter. I am asking you. First of all, where it says forgive me? You are making things up. Can you show me the verse where, I'll, where he says forgive me for sleeping with this woman? You are making things up, my friend. What? It's the opposite. It's the opposite. Listen, 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 listen. Open Ibn Kathir and read. Open Al Qurtubi, open Al Tabari, open Al Jalalain, all of them. You will find that you have no choice but to accept that your prophet is nothing but a fornicator. In the same time, you agreed that he should not sleep with his servant and he never married her. Now the question is as long as the Quran says it's made lawful for you, is she lawful for him? To sleep with her because he promised not to sleep with her not the false translation he promised i will never sleep with her uh -huh. yeah and then he told hafsa don't tell anybody why he's staying here why he don't want anybody to know if he is doing something good he, don't, he doesn't want to disclose of his sins why do people okay, do so Muhammad now he knew it is sin and then Allah he got involved so the wife she told the other wife and the other wife told the other wife and the whole town know about it at the end of the day Muhammad by like 10 months after uh, Allah informed him is that a story from God 
and Allah never made it lawful for him. And you keep saying, and you keep saying to me, he asked Allah for forgiveness. Look, read with me carefully. This is what Jalalain says. Allah, he said, mm -hmm. why do you forbid what Allah made lawful for you in the term of your Coptic handmaiden, Maria? Do you see it? When he lay with her in the house of Hafsa, she was what? She is the maid, the maid. The maid. And who had been away uh, who upon returning and finding become upset by the fact this is had taken a place in her house and in her own bed so not only he is a cheating sleeping around by saying she is unlawful to me Muhammad he said she is unlawful to me seeking by making her unlawful so did he marry her no he promised she's unlawful he for him. He okay, my friend, take care. You see, you are just playing games. I, 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 you, you cannot debate a Muslim who want to play a game because simply he, he will keep lying. He keep make. No, 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 no. There is no point. You see, I mean, uh, uh, it's obvious she is his maid. She is not his wife. He's having kids from her, according to you, and Allah never allow him. And then you keep saying to me, he asked Allah for forgiveness. Where is it? Και